Hi, this is Ashok here. I'm a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix uh, training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to uh, CFA and investment banking topics. Okay. So this video will um, focus on many terminologies like, uh, like uh, mortgage backed securities, uh, then collateralized debt obligations, asset backed securities, okay, collateralized mortgage obligations, US recession okay, that happened in 2007-8, US recession happened. So you will get an idea about all this in this video. Okay, So uh, early 2000 banks in us so what do they do they they are providing home loans okay they are providing home loans to the borrowers here so home loans and when they provide these home loans to these borrowers these borrowers will take loans buy your home and then they will take around 30 40 years to repay so it's a very long lengthy process to get back the entire money okay so this was the case and government in us they wanted to uh, make sure that everybody gets home as soon as possible so that was the intention of the government so how can they make sure that everybody gets home as soon as possible so everybody gets a roof to stay so they wanted to fasten up this process and encourage more people to you know take home loans and uh, have your home so they introduced a couple of government sponsored entities okay government sponsored entities as in government sponsored entities so which are these government sponsored entities feni may and jenny may so this is how it is pronounced. Feni May, you can write like this as well. F E N N I E. Feni May, M A E, and Jenny May. Jenny May. So this is the spelling. Okay. So they introduced this uh, uh, couple of government-sponsored entities. So when I say government-sponsored, that doesn't mean they were continuously sponsoring. They had sponsored to set up this this these companies okay this uh, entities so when this entities was set up after that how it would function is you know they will buy all this uh, this home loan documents because banks when they are giving loans what what do they get in return they get home loan documents so those home loan documents those home loan documents banks will sell it to these government sponsored entities so government sponsored entities will give them the cash okay so that means bank has saved its next 30 40 years because ideally they are supposed to wait for 30 40 years to get this uh, amount completely whereas now they are immediately selling it to these government sponsored entities immediately they are getting cash and that money is further utilized for giving more home loans and when they get more home loans again that that home loan documents will be sold to the government sponsored entities again they will get more cash and again you know they will they will issue more home loans to the borrowers so this was the case going on now the question is how is this government sponsored entities getting uh, you know uh, money to get all these home loan documents and what are they doing here so as i said like government these are government sponsored entities that doesn't mean continuously government was sponsoring them government sponsored only to set up the business so then who is giving them cash so how it works is uh, who is giving them cash to buy these home loan documents this is not provided by the government so how it works is this this entity will convert these documents into mortgage-backed securities 
mortgage backed securities okay they are converting it into your financial instrument called as mortgage backed securities and they are reissuing back to the investors so whoever is interested in in investing in in this mortgage backed securities they will invest in it okay and in return they will get uh, the interest interest and principal like emi okay so the way so how it will work is imagine these borrowers are paying 4 percentage so bank is getting 4 percentage and then bank will take 1 percentage and they will pay 3 percentage uh, okay bank will take 1 percentage as their commission and then they will pay 3 percentage to this government sponsored entities now this government sponsored entities why so because government sponsored uh, sponsored entities they have this home loan documents they have bought it now government sponsored entities they will take 1 percentage and then they will further route 2 percentage to these investors okay so in this business government sponsored entities they have got 1 percentage commission banks have got 1 percentage because they took 4 and they are giving 3 and government sponsored entities they took 3 and they are giving you know 2 percentage to the investors and investors are happy that they are getting 2 percentage and by the way this 2 percentage is a big number in in us okay so 2 percentage uh, getting uh, returns is a big one over there so this was the business model so everybody was happy uh you know investors all international investors also started coming in and institutional investors international investors they all started investing into this mortgage backed securities so what is mortgage backed securities mortgage backed securities is a financial instrument backed by all home loan mortgages it is backed by all home loan mortgages so this is mortgage backed securities now further in order to you know uh, popularize this concept okay when this was running very nicely so these banks thought why to you know uh, give this 1% commission because they are taking 4 and they are giving you know 3 so they are losing 1% they thought why not to set up their own special purpose vehicle who will do the work of managing this mortgage backed securities so so that means banks are setting up their own government sponsored entities and also many investment banks started coming in here they started playing this role okay investment banks uh, all investment banks whatever major investment banks that you can think about okay all uh, major investment banks they all started playing a role over here they also started buying this uh, you know home loan mortgages and then reissuing back to the investors in the form of mortgage backed securities so that means banks over here they are you know getting a lot of opportunities over here because all they have to now focus on is issuing more and more home loans selling more and more home loans to the borrowers and then you know they have the option to sell it to their own spv to sell it to other investment banks to sell it to government sponsored entities so this kind of environment create created a sense of competition between bank to bank competition between bank to bank so the competition was so very heavy it was so very severe in us that they started coming up with many lucrative offers uh, to attract the home loan borrowers in fact it went to the extent where banks said that you know even if uh, e e banks said that you know they don't have to pay interest for one entire year only from the second year they have to pay interest second bank said they don't have to pay uh, for the you know for the entire two years only from the third year they have to pay and another bank said you know for first three years they don't have to pay only uh, uh, only from the you know fourth year they have to pay so this was the case that means in short even if you are jobless still you are eligible for home loans as it is you don't have to pay for the first 3 years and the assumption will be like in the next 3 years you will get your job and then you will make the payment so that was the scenario in us okay so that means in short everybody is eligible for home loan now everybody is eligible for home loan so 
what happened was so this was the case and then even this kind of mortgage backed securities this was further insured also so further insured by companies like you know aig uh, aig company they, this kind of uh, insurance company they insured so this gave uh, a guarantee that these investors are not going to lose out the money okay these investors are not going to lose out the money so further more and more investors also started forming a queue over here more investors and here also more and more home loan borrowers also started getting uh, started getting uh, you know home loans easily in fact so it went to the extent where banks started giving loans to all subprime borrowers subprime borrowers subprime means they are not prime they are not good enough to repay so they are not good enough to repay but still they were eligible as per the bank's rules and so they were getting loans very easily so any jobless person can come to the bank sign uh, saying that you know they will make the payment after uh, let's say two years or after three years and they will walk away with with their home so that was the case in us going on so initially it was looking all very nice and it was uh, all showing in the accounting as if like the profits are being built up and so the balance sheet was looking very good but then when the due date came to pay you know the loan these borrowers subprime borrowers did not find enough jobs and they could not repay and when they could not repay that's when the us recession started because when they could not repay the banks did not get their payment okay when they could not repay banks did not get the payment and when banks did not get the payment they could not pay to these intermediaries when they could not pay to these intermediaries okay the value of these investments of mortgage backed securities all came down okay so in this case only there was one big investment bank called lehman brothers lehman brothers they had huge huge exposure you know lehman brothers uh, they had huge huge exposure to uh, mortgage backed securities okay so they had huge exposure to mortgage backed securities and the value of those mortgage backed securities start you know started coming down and then finally they filed for bankruptcy so this is how us recession happened and uh, you know this is mortgage backed securities in fact further if i detail these mortgage backed securities were also you know uh, available so much in us and imagine here uh, you know on the left hand side when i say 4 percentage now everybody may not be charged 4 percentage because everybody's uh, risk appetite is different everybody's credit worthiness is different everybody's uh, uh, loan amount is different maturity amount is different so over here further in order to make this instrument better it was further categorized this mortgage backed securities was further categorized as you know senior secured uh senior secured then uh let's say mezzanine that means in between mezzanine and then unsecured unsecured so this mortgage backed securities were categorized like this so let's say if it is 2 percentage on an average they are getting investors senior secured investors will get 1 percentage mezzanine 2 percentage and unsecured will get 3 percentage that means so this will this will tell us the waterfall waterfall as in when all the interest payments are received how is this distributed so waterfall as in distribution of uh, interest payments over here interest and emi uh, interest and principal uh, payments here so first it will be paid to these senior secured uh, investors so because they will be paid first they are get, they are getting less and then second two percentage and then people who believe strongly you know they are ready to take risk and they believe that all you know borrowers will pay such borrowers will go for unsecured uh, category okay where they will get the maximum okay so this way it was categorized when it was categorized like this when mortgage backed securities were categorized uh, you know based on uh, this interest and risk payment it was it was named as cdo collateralized debt obligations okay collateralized debt obligations right 
and this concept became so very popular that this was replicated even for other loans what is that other loan now this is your home loan okay which is a major chunk but similarly you can copy paste the same concept for um, other loans like you know credit card loans student loan personal loan so all these kind of loans uh, which which are very popular in us all these kind of uh, you know loans of uh, uh, smaller tenures uh, tenure they were all clubbed together and this was given the name as you know asset backed securities so again same concept these banks are giving loans but these are other loans credit card loans personal loans okay and here same spv or uh, you know this innovation banks and they are getting investors here these are the investors and these are the borrowers so now this is not mortgage backed securities this is all other loans as i said student loan credit card loans personal loan so this was named as asset backed securities so asset backed securities are are financial instrument backed by all these uh, kind of loans okay so these asset backed securities can further be categorized as senior secured mezzanine and unsecured mezzanine and unsecured and this was further you know uh, renamed to collateralized mortgage obligations collateralized mortgage obligations right so this is this is uh, these are some of the you know terminologies associated with uh, uh, mortgage backed securities and asset backed securities and how us recession happened in 2007 and 8 and how it spread to all over to different countries as i said like all these investors you know were all institutional investors uh, retail investors institutional investors and even international investors so because it was all international investors as well like you know investors from uk pension funds mutual funds insurance companies so when mortgage backed securities value started coming down all these all these international institutional investors as all investors also started losing money and so it started spreading in other countries as well right so this is uh some idea about us recession and some of the terminologies associated with it thank you